Okay, so it's 11.18, so I have the packing slips all laid out, I have what I have ready on top, and then I can just print some more what I need and then stick them over there. And then I should be able to get them all packaged this, this afternoon. I've also got all of my husband's orders um, pulled from what I can. He has quite a few custom things to do as well, so I'll be able to pack a few of those later today as well. And yeah, it's like crazy busy, which I'm so thankful for. It's awesome. I'm blown away. I'm just so excited. Um, and then I also have review crews to get through. So I need to get all of those uh, filmed and opened and uh, posted very soon because they might have holiday items in there. So I have a really huge list today. And at 3.30, I have to take my dog to the vet to get her stitches out. So I have to get going. Let's do this again. This is my lunch. It might not look very appetizing. Um, I do have some cheese on there, but it actually is really good. It's an Amy's pesto tortellini bowl and it's delicious. Hello again. Okay, so um, I don't remember where I left off. I think I showed you my lunch, which I'm sorry if you didn't think that was appetizing. It was quite good. Now I'm getting ready to um, get all of my orders like finished up making them. I have one cup to do and I have eight sticker sheets to make. And then after that, I think I'm caught up with making the items. And then it's all about cutting and writing out my thank you cards. I just printed a whole bunch of them, like a ton, and I'm going to chop them all up. And then I'm going to write out the thank yous. And then I think I can get to packaging. It is almost, it's about a quarter to one in the afternoon on Monday, the 23rd. And at three o'clock-ish, I have to stop for a while to take my dog to the vet to get her stitches out. So um, I have quite a bit of stuff that I'm gonna try and get done before then. Um, so I'll just show you a couple of the things that I'm working on right at this second. And then, uh, yeah, that's that, that'll be pretty much it. So here's what I'm doing. So I am printing out my Gamers Dice sticker sheets. So I'm just going to give that a second to dry and then I'm going to slap it onto the uh, Cricut mat to cut these out. Um, yeah, again, get two per sheet and these are much larger than my regular sticker sheets. My regular sheets are four by six. These are more like almost like five by seven kind of deal. So um, they have to be packaged in kind of a larger envelope. So I'm going to run those through the Cricut and get them all cut out and everything. And I um, have to cut my thank you cards. So here's the back of them. They're upside down, but there's the back. And I print them with the bleed and cut lines so that I know where to cut. And they are all uh, pretty similar sizes. It doesn't matter if they're a little off, but I just really like having those guidelines to cut with. So that is that. And there's my order table. I'm not going to show you close up because I don't want you to be able to see any addresses, but I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 on this table. And then I do have some more um, out in the other room that I need to get going as well. So that's my day. So here's the deal. I need to clean my print heads. I need to clean and align my print heads and, oh, I can't, I can't reach which cord that is. But my computer is saying that my printer is not connected to the network, even though I've been printing on it all morning. Um, and it's, it's connected. It's just not connected. It's weird. So what I'm doing now is I'm getting my USB cable so that I can directly hook up my printer to my computer so that I can um, re connect it, reset the connection, and then I'm hoping that will let me 
clean and align my print heads because the quality I'm getting is just not where it should be. This is what it's printing. And I don't know how well you can see it, but there's teeny, 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 tiny lines in the black. It's just not printing the way that it should. So I'm hoping that I can connect it manually and clean and align the print heads. And that should do it. So wish me luck because, yeah. Don't mind me, I'm just sitting here lining my printer, cleaning the print heads, trying to make sure that it is printing at the best quality possible. Um, and I have to sit here and hold my USB because that's the only way I can get USB onto my computer is through this little dongle thing and uh, the connection can get kind of um, bad. So I have to sit here and literally babysit it and hold it. Um, and it says that the printer's offline, but I just printed the page. So it's just kind of given me some issues. Um, and there it goes printing in another alignment page, which I didn't probably need to do, but mm, yeah. So anyway, I have to do this in order to print better quality items. And while those are still perfectly good, I just don't feel right sending them out because they're not what I would want to receive. I mean, they still look great, but they're not where I expect them to be. So I'm going to redo them and hopefully, gosh darn it printer, you are not offline. You are printing just fine. <sighs> it's starting to get to that point. Maybe I've used it too much today and it's just kind of freaking out. So I might want to just like let it hang out for a while um, and give it a little bit of a break. I don't have to print those today. I can fill the rest of my orders and then print them later tonight. And that should be just fine. So, okay, let's see what these alignment pages look like. All right, so we're going to print this again, and hopefully it remembers my printer because I unplugged my computer from the printer, or vice versa. So I th uh, hopefully it'll work. Color fine, auto select best. Okay, let's see if it remembers that. Good, okay, it's printing. So I printed, uh, two alignment pages somewhere. Um, I don't know what happened to the other. Oh, it's still on the glass. So I printed two alignment pages and then I copied it to make sure that it was good to go. And then I also did, um, four different cleaning. Well, three different cleaning levels. So you can see those two plus this one. So I'm hoping <laughs> that that does it. Uh, it's been, it's been a day. It's a long day already. Um, and I'm just hoping that the quality, um, of this will come out better than this one. So again, let me wait till it focuses and then like, I, I feel like you can't really see it. Maybe on the two. Yeah, you can definitely, I think, see those lines on the two. That's what I'm trying to get rid of. Um, it's not on the two itself, actually. It's on the gray background behind the two. So I'm trying to get rid of that. Let's see how this one comes out. Focus, focus. Let's see how this one comes out. I really hope that that helped. Because if not, I don't feel like it's that quality has been like that. Oh yeah. Oh, that's better. That is a lot better, actually. That did help. Can you guys, I don't know if you're going to be able to see the difference very well, but between this background and this background, I can definitely tell a difference. So I'm much happier with the new one. Okay, so these two are going into the Misfit pile. And I will be printing brand new ones of those. 
yes these are my misfits and actually this one is like perfectly good the only problem was um, it didn't cut through the backing all the way so there's a little bit of fuzz around the edges and I could cut it with scissors it just takes so much time it's it's like not worth not worth it I can print new ones for less than it costs me in my time to actually make it so um, yeah these are just misfits and there's a whole bunch that are just old um, finishes that I no longer offer but the stickers themselves are actually perfectly fine so if you want a mystery misfit pack you might get something in this box <gasps> hi hi cutie patootie <laughs> what are you doing <gasps> hello you watching dino it is Black Friday week, so I need to That's get right, some, uh, what you call it, advertisements up. So I am just going to chill on the couch yeah. while Daddy plays with the baby and uh, make some marketing stuff. So yeah, I'll show you a little bit. Okay. So here is the thing that I did. Um, I just used a Canva template and I changed... Um, some of the elements so obviously I changed the name uh, it was 50% off so I changed it to 40 because that's what our sale is and then I added his picture I changed all of the colors from red to yellow because I think it stood out a little bit more and it goes kind of with the picture and then instead of shop now I changed it link in bio because um, we're gonna put this on Instagram and he doesn't have the swipe up yet so, I think that will work just fine. Hello, guys. I did not end the vlog last night, so I'm kind of rolling this in with it. Um, I worked on making all of my stuff yesterday, and today I'm working on packaging it all. And I am doing it live on TikTok. Say hello, everybody. You are live right now. And you're going to be going on my YouTube channel. <laughs> So um, I'm going to package all this stuff up. I have a really full day, but I can't wait to get all of these orders out. You guys are so amazing. Thank you. Oh, there they are. They're saying hello. Hello, Jenny and MJ and Riri and Boss and Nature. You guys are going to be famous in Southern Designs and Katie ah! and Ice Prince. Love it, you guys. So make sure that uh, if you if you guys don't follow me on TikTok, jump on over there because it's a party. And if you guys don't follow me on uh, YouTube, jump on over there and subscribe because you'll see yourself. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. I have so much to do. So I'm going to kind of um, stop the vlog. I cannot really show you my workspace because of privacy reasons right now, but I'll show you kind of the packaging process as I go along. So let's get this going. Wow, it's blue in here. This light is no joke. Um, it's dark outside, so that's why the lighting looks very different. And it's pretty much the end of the day. So I um, have just packaged up seven pieces of jewelry uh, for my husband's business. And I packaged up a whole load of stickers for my business. And I'm getting ready to put them into a box. I have pretty much everything else packaged except for a few items that we still need to make a few things for. Um, so we're going to run to the post office uh, as soon as my, my husband gets home and as soon as I finish this. But I really wanted to take you along this time and show you the packaging process. So um, let's do this. I'll show you what I do. Okay, so I have the boxes here, the stickers there, and then thank you cards and um, packing slip and all that good stuff. So the first thing I'm going to do is under my table, I have these boxes. And I'm pretty sure that everything will fit in one of these, so I just need to get it set up. So I'll set you down so you can kind of see that process. These are clamshell boxes and they're really easy to put together. They just literally fold together. And then no tape required, which is always amazing when you can save on plastic material. 
Okay, so then I'm gonna make it pretty. And to do that, I'm going to grab a piece of white tissue paper. And I'm going to fold it so that I have too much stuff on the table space. I need the actual table. I'm gonna fold it so that it fits inside my box nicely. So I'm just gonna fold this end down and try and make it straight. And then I'm going to turn it around, do the same thing on the other side. And I just need to fold it enough so that it will fit in the width of the box, and that will. So now I'm just going to float that down like this. My stickers will go flat in the bottom of the box. So I'm gonna put those down first. Actually, I'll put a little bit of crinkle paper just to make it nice and Kind of it's just a little fun it doesn't really have a purpose other than being kind of fun when you open the box okay and then i'm going to put the stickers down and then on top of that i will put all of the little boxes and she has seven total so this last one will go standing up off to the side and then I'm going to add in the thank you notes. That's my husband's business card and the packing slip for all of the jewelry pieces. So I'm gonna tuck that into, actually I probably should have put that on the bottom too. So I'm gonna slip that in and put it on the bottom. And we'll put this back in. And then I'm going to put in the thank you cards. I'm gonna do a little bit more floof on the top of these, just to make it fun. Like that. Put the thank you cards in. And then I'm going to wrap it up like a little present, fold the top over. And then I have some stickers vinyl stickers that I use. I have these little leftover vinyl pieces from when I make cups. And I'm just going to put those on to hold it down together like this. And I already lettered her name, so I'm just going to take another sticker and I'm just gonna put that on the box. Just as a little, oh cute, little thank you. And then I'm going to fill the rest of the space with some sealed air. The, these are just recycled pillows that I am using from Amazon. That one might be too thick. So I have a smaller, have these smaller pieces that will probably work okay here. It's just to fill the extra loose space. Okay, and then I can tuck that side in. This is my lovely packaging cart, and I have um, a whole bunch of stuff on here that I'll show you. So these are my logo stickers. I don't print these. I got these on a really good sale from Sticker Mule. And then this is water activated tape, which I also got from Sticker Mule. It has my logo on it. So they work really well for the boxes. One, two, three, four. Four logos fit perfectly on the box. So... I have my damp sponge here. I'm just gonna wipe the water onto it. Okay, so now I can write the recipient's name on the outside. And there it is. And that is going to do it for today's studio vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was kind of a mishmash of a whole bunch of different things from yesterday and today, making some of the items to all of the packaging and everything that goes into it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give the video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to click the bell icon so you can be notified when I upload new videos. I am so exhausted. I'm gonna go sit down and take a break for the rest of the night. 
and I'm going to be back at it tomorrow. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.